Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick video on how to split up an array into even amounts of work and then process that array. And so in this program, uh, we're going to start off like a cooking show where we have a couple of things already built. I have this check summing array filled with, uh, with one split 10 ways method. Uh, first, what that does is um, create an array of whatever length you pass in. It fills that array with ones and then uh, calculates the sum. And as you can tell here, uh, we're going to build it uh, incorrectly. Uh, so uh, get ready for that. And then um, you want to check to see, you know, did it work? You know, and so if you pass an array of length 19 and, you know, you make an array filled with all ones, what should the sum be? It should be 19. So it's really easy to check and we'll print it out. And down here in the main, I just try a whole bunch of array lengths from 0 to 109. And we can run that program. And you can see, because I'm just calculating the sum incorrectly, I just returning minus one now, it just, you know, fails for all of them, okay? So let's go ahead and start to write this method. And, um, you know, this whole thing is obviously just set up for your assignment. So let's go ahead and create an array of sum sums. We want to make a slot for each task. So I need to make a new array and so since I'm making a slot for each task in the array, let's make the array length sub uh, num task big. And then when we're done, we'll process it, the array. And then when we're done with that, we can just sort of create a total sum, zero and four in sub sum in sub sums, you know, add each task's a part of the sum to the total sum and then return total sum. And so now before you can see every single one of them returned minus one. Now every single one of them is going to return zero because this sub sum is initialized to zero. Okay, but we do, we are actually going to process this now. So what I like to do is let's get our outer loop going first. So I want to create an array and just index this, uh, what I'm going to call task index from uh, zero to task index less than num tasks, task index plus plus. A lot of people will make this I or J or bad names. Be surprised how much that hurts when you're going to have two loops, which we're going to have. Because in a second, we're going to say for int array index from sum min to sum max. Now we're going to have to calculate that in a second, but just naming these i and j, you'd be surprised how much um, you can screw up, right? And at some point in your assignment, obviously you're going to put a finish out here and an async in here, but let's not worry about that for right now, right? What we need to do right now is we need to figure out what our min and max is. And by the way, when we're done with this, each one, we're going to take our subsums, subtask index, plus equal to array subarray index. Okay, that's our fundamental structure. And all we need to do, let me add a little plus plus here. Right. All we need to do now is come up with some way to calculate these min and max. There's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. Uh, one of the ways that I like to do it is to just say min is zero at the very beginning. And um, max equals min plus some delta, right? Or slice length, if we're slicing this up, right? And then when I'm done, min becomes the new max. Okay, so the new min becomes the max. It'll go through and do this. All right, so I have to declare this max. And what do I want for this slice length? Well, a really quick way to do it is to say, well, the slice length is we want to give up out even amounts of work to everybody. So if we say array length divided by num tasks, right? If you imagine the array is a million long and task is 10, this would get dish out 100,000 to each one, right? So min would start at zero. It would add 100,000 to be max. You'd iterate from zero to 100,000. It would move the new min would now be 100,000, it would go 100,000 to 200,000, then 200,000 to 300,000. 
you get the point. Now when I run this, you can see that it's working. Well, it works for zero, that's not surprising. And it fails, and it's actually computing zero for those. And it works for 10, and then 11 through 19 all return 10, and that's incorrect. It works for 20, and then all each of the other ones. So I leave as an exercise to you um, how to approach fixing this problem.